ever wondered how breakdancing originated? Let's take a trip back in time to the South Bronx of the 1970s. Amidst social unrest and economic hardship, a vibrant and resilient culture was taking shape. It was a time when marginalized youth were seeking outlets for their creativity and breakdancing became one of the most powerful expressions of that need. The dance form was more than just a series of moves. It was a language, a form of communication that transcended the boundaries of spoken word. The influence of popular Kung Fu movies of that era was unmistakable. As young dancers watched these films, they began to incorporate the fluidity and precision of martial arts into their dance routines, adding an entirely new dimension to the evolving art form. Breakdancing became an embodiment of the struggle, resilience and creativity of the youth. So breakdancing was born out of a need for self-expression in a challenging environment. But how did breakdancing evolve from the streets of the South Bronx to the global phenomenon it is today? The 1980s marked a significant shift in the trajectory of breakdancing. With the advent of the hip-hop culture, breakdancing found its way into the mainstream. It was the era of vibrant tracksuits, boomboxes and an insatiable appetite for new modes of self-expression. Breakdancing was not just a dance anymore. It was a lifestyle, a statement. Films and television played an instrumental role in this proliferation. The dance form was featured in popular movies of the time like Flashdance and Break-In, and these served as a window to the world of breakdancing for many. Television shows were not far behind either, with programs like Soul Train showcasing breakdancing performances to millions of households each week. As breakdancing spread, it began to symbolize urban youth culture. In a world that was rapidly changing, breakdancing was a way for young people to express their individuality, their creativity, and their defiance against the status quo. It was a dance of resistance, a dance of freedom, the dance form was adopted by various communities across the globe, each adding their unique flavor to it. From the favelas of Brazil to the streets of Tokyo, breakdancing became a universal language transcending borders and cultural barriers. The 1980s also saw the formation of breakdancing crews, groups of dancers who would practice together and compete against other crews. These crews were often like second families, providing a sense of belonging and purpose to their members. Different styles of breakdancing began to emerge as well. Power moves, which involved acrobatic feats of strength and agility, became popular. Freezes, where a dancer holds a position for a while, were used to punctuate routines. And of course the footwork, the intricate steps and movements, that were the foundation of the dance. So, from a street dance in the Bronx, breakdancing became a global language of the urban youth. It evolved, it transformed, it adapted, but at its core, it remained a dance of the streets, a dance of the people. But what makes breakdancing so culturally relevant even today? Let's delve into that. Breakdancing, born in the gritty streets and basement parties, has always been a platform for marginalized communities to express their struggles, hopes, and resilience. It's a language that communicates across boundaries, fostering unity through diversity. Every spin, flip and freeze tells a story, reflecting the dancer's unique identity and experience. But the cultural significance of breakdancing doesn't end there. This dynamic dance form has recently been recognized as an Olympic sport, a testament to its global impact and popularity. This recognition not only validates breakdancing as a legitimate art form, but also amplifies its cultural voice, enabling it to reach an even wider audience. So, despite its humble beginnings, breakdancing has grown into a powerful cultural phenomenon, inspiring and uniting people from all walks of life. In essence, breakdancing is more than just a dance form. It's a powerful cultural statement. So what have we learned about breakdancing? We've journeyed through the gritty streets of South Bronx in the 70s, where breakdancing first ignited as a beacon of creativity amid hardship. It was more than just dance. It was a message, a voice a means of self-expression for those who felt unheard. From there, we've witnessed how this vibrant dance form evolved, how it crossed borders and boundaries, and how it became a global phenomenon. Breakdancing transcended the confines of the South Bronx, resonating with people from all walks of life. It became a universal language, uniting us in rhythm and movement. We've also delved into the cultural significance of breakdancing, how it's woven into the very fabric of our society. It's an art form that continues to challenge, to inspire, 
and to tell stories that need to be heard. Breakdancing, a dance form born out of hardship, has evolved into a powerful global language of self-expression and unity. It's a testament to the enduring power of creativity and the human spirit.